Hello everyone, it's Not A New Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. We're taking a look at the level 35 Adam Francis perk, Deliverance. Deliverance guarantees a survivor will be able to escape off of their first hook, so long as they have safely unhooked another survivor earlier in the game. This is perfect if you aren't playing with people you can depend on and you're afraid of being abandoned on the hook, or it's just another thing for you to keep in your back pocket to use. The bad news is that you won't be able to heal yourself for 60 to 100 seconds depending on what tier this perk is because you get the broken status effect as soon as you unhook yourself. Another thing to note is that survive with friend groups can easily coordinate on hooking one another, so this perk definitely favors those who are solo queuing or only playing with one other friend. Finally, it requires an unhook to work, so if you're the first person chased and downed, obviously this perk won't activate the entire game. Let's get into our demonstration. Here, I unhook a survivor. Now, the perk won't activate immediately, as this perk only rewards safe unhooks. So if you try to farm someone to activate this perk, it won't work. Then, you can see this perk is ready to go as soon as I get the safe unhook notification. You can tell Deliverance is activated and ready to go by the perk lighting up in the bottom right hand corner. I am hooked by the killer for the first time with this perk activated, meaning I am guaranteed to unhook myself on the first attempt. This perk will work at any time before you hit the struggle state, so you can wait a while or uh, immediately unhook yourself. You can see now that I get the broken status indicator on the left side from Deliverance. Being broken means you cannot heal yourself out of the injured state. On the right side, you get a timer that spins counterclockwise to let you know when you will lose this status effect and be able to heal. Here, I unhook my teammate, and after about 10 seconds, I get the safe unhook notification, which means my Deliverance is good to go, when I get hooked for the first time. Now, I'm downed and hooked by the Huntress, and you can check out the scene. There are three generators left, one survivor is already dead, and two of my teammates are soloing gens across the map. Now, I don't think my teammates are bad here. They're both probably relying on one another to go and hook me, since they are both trying to finish their generators and progress the game. Nevertheless, this is why I say Deliverance is a good backup plan when you aren't playing Survive with Friends. I see the Huntress go a comfortable distance away and into the field, and I decide to unhook myself since it doesn't look like either of my teammates are coming in to get the save. I unhook myself, and I sprint to the corner to let the broken status effect wear off so I can eventually heal myself, which as you can see here, happens. In this next example, I unhook Fancy Dwight, and I'm able to activate my perk. Later on, I am downed and hooked by the spirit. My teammate does try to be heroic and flashlight save for me, but now he's being chased. You can see that my other two teammates are unaware that this teammate who tried to flashlight save is being chased and now unable to get me off the hook, so they stay on the opposite side of the map. Now the spirit gives me a little love tap here as my teammate runs by the hook and it doesn't appear that I'm going to get saved since my closest teammate is still being chased and my other two teammates are across the map healing one another and completing a gen, so I'm forced to use my deliverance. Thank goodness I have it though. The spirit is still chasing my closest teammate and walks far enough away that I can unhook myself and run in the opposite corner to let my broken status effect wear off and I can heal up and get back in the game. Again, it's unfortunate that I had to use this perk, but it's better having it than not having it. So let's give it a grade. Deliverance is a 6.5 because it is such a unique perk. I personally really enjoy running it and you can see how helpful it can be. So if I like it so much, why is it still a 6.5? Well, you have a 1 in 4 chance of being the first survivor who is chased and hooked. Therefore, Deliverance won't be able to activate because you haven't unhooked a survivor yet and you'll be on struggle on your second hook. The broken status effect is a mild inconvenience. Um, it gets really bad though if you're facing a killer who likes to tunnel because then you're going to be hit down because you can't heal yourself. Finally, this perk can be replaced by competent teammates. Now. This is pretty rare in solo queue as many of you know, but if you're playing survive with friends, it is generally pretty easy to coordinate and make sure no one hits the struggle phase on their first hook. As I've said before, it's a great perk to have in your back pocket, but competent teammates can replace this perk's use. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk reviews, make sure to visit my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Take it easy.